Well, hello there. I'm so glad you're here today. This is Marty Whitney, and I am welcome you to the show. Um, I'm welcome you to the show again. Oh, goodness. Um, I just need to change the camera around, and I'll take that right off. This is the project that we're working on today. We're finishing it. Uh, like I said, I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment. I teach fun art, not fine art, and I'm not the funny person at the camera anymore. So, we're glad that you're here today. I'm going to connect um, my computer so that I can see you. Uh, see your comments. Okay. Glad you found your way here. Uh, we are on day four of our project, and so tomorrow will be the final. Uh, will be the final day that we uh, have. Uh, see this project and I'll be uh, introducing another project okay as you come on I hope that you will say hello and where you're from hi Priscilla I can see you today um, I'm so dangerous at the, and we're in our motor home. That was a shot of our motor home. Uh, I've been out all morning. We had a tour of a really interesting place, a uh, very historical place, really, if you ask me. Uh, this is a, I showed you yesterday that we were gonna be going through this, um, this factory. Uh, this is, um, Cajun Country, which was started in 1942, and we are traveling with the people who own this um, uh, rice production plant, uh, which is uh, considered to be one of uh, two in Crowley, um, Louisiana, which is considered the rice capital of the United States. So I'm looking forward to having my popcorn shrimp. Now, where we're from in Florida, they don't have this brand yet. Uh, I don't know why. It's in five or six states, but it's very good in cooking it. I've cooked it in the past. It's a very aromatic rice, and uh, we learned about all of the processes that they go through to produce it today, so it was really interesting. And I'm about Cajun'd out. Um, I am not, I'm, I've got to uh, start walking uh, double time because it's really getting to my rear, my, my pant size. So, anyway, we'll go ahead and um, get started here. I'm gonna share my screen. That's very distracting. There. Now you'll be able to see me, and we'll see the um, project. That might not work out. So, another thing, uh, the other day when I got up, I pulled my microphone cord out, and uh, so I'm waiting on one to come in from uh, Ileka. Um, how are you today? Um, waiting anyway I'm waiting for a new microphone to come in so it seems to me I can pretty well see that that I have good audio but uh, I like to check it and if anything happens say just speak up so anyway here we are this is the old bag the one that we used as a sample and then this is the new one and if you have not been here before this is uh, I usually put a plastic um, cutting board in here so that it doesn't bleed through to my project. I'm a lefty, so sometimes I'll be changing my, uh, I'll be turning my project around. 
so that I, it's easier for me to get to my project. Okay, now, let's see. This is my palette today. Uh, you can see we're using less and less paint every day. All I'm doing is really just kind of sprucing this up and uh, making a couple of real little brush um, strokes that I think need to be made to and that's what you'll be doing is toward the end you're just kind of brush brushing um, through places that um, you think just need a little touch-up job so uh, I have all my brushes over here let's see which one I'll use I think I'm going to work on the fence right now and um, there's no problem with thinning it out with with some with some water if you need to uh, I think you'll see that and I think I'll yesterday you suggested that I give you a little bit of a let's see let me do this just a second so I can give you more of a zoom I'll go over here and I'll zoom it in a little bit so it's easier for you to follow me and I'll look up here every once in a while sometimes I forget but I'll look up here and I'm not even where you can see what I'm painting but it's not intentional so uh, hi Ursula um, so we're just going to go over here I just felt like it needed a little bit of touch up but if you just came in this is just we're at the very end of this project uh, all I need to do is just kind of do kind of look over it and let's see if I can get in so you can see these places where it didn't go the paint did not go in it's all right I can't even tell it well I'm gonna go over it anyway and I've taught this class for this bags in um, different parts of the country but people that love it are the ones that are in areas where there are old barns and if I get a little bit more water So, like I said, we've thoroughly enjoyed our trip to Louisiana, but uh, we won't be leaving here until Sunday morning, and then we'll be heading back uh, easterly toward Florida. It's going to take us a couple of days to get there. My husband doesn't like to ride, ride, drive more than about 300 and, at the most, 350 miles a day, so we just don't have to get exhausted. So... Now, um, next week is a surprise, what we're going to be, good to see you too. Um, okay, it's fine if you go off, uh, if you need to, if you need to leave because of your MiFi, I think I got mine straightened out today, I'm not sure, I'm not seeing any interruptions, but, um, also, um, I do have, I'm gonna go ahead and put that back where it was with my head, but I wanted to show you one other thing. Uh, um, there was one other thing. I have a YouTube address. I don't know whether I have it on here or not.
I think that's it. That is my YouTube address. So all of the videos will be stored over there in the order that they've been made. Um, whoops. And feel free to share this page with anyone. Uh, okay, now we'll go back here. Oops. I'm going to keep it down here. I've got a lot of work to do here. So just ex well, if I get a minute, I'll fix it so you can see my face. But that's not the important thing right now. Uh, I did put some green over here so I could kind of separate these. Make it. Put, put the little of the, of the, the hills are alive with the sound of music over here. I don't want all of it to be that color, but I just needed to make it uh, a little bit easier to see. I wanted to Oh, see, I like my other barn better than I like this barn. The first barn that I did was a little niffier. Um, and, you know, I've got a light shining on this that, that doesn't seem to project the right color. It's funny how that happens. Um, and it, we just had a rain, kind of a, a brief rain, but it was kind of unusual that it, um, rained for a few minutes and I thought, uh-oh, I'm not going to have my MiFi. It's probably going to disturb that, but it hasn't so far. This has been pretty reliable, but I say that and then one day it'll be, one day it's good, one day it isn't just kind of go over to see how that light I'm gonna see if this is better without it uh, and maybe that's better a little rose-colored light um, if you come on please say hello And um, we have uh, been, we're traveling with a group called Tiffin Travelers, which is a, this is, this particular function that we're attending right now is a rally. And a rally is just whenever you get together with friends and you sit around and you talk sometimes or you go on field trips like we did today and you just enjoy the company of each other so and you don't get together but maybe a couple of times during the year a lot of times i'll teach my classes i chose not to on this one or i chose not to even approach them about it because i was looking forward to getting to know more about the culture of this area and and it's been very informative don't you think that light is better now yeah it is I could put a barn door over there um, but I'm not it won't add that much to this um, another thing I could do is put a quilt square here I thought about that last night which you see on the barns. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll do that and I'll just do this very fast. Um, I was at a, a meeting that we had, I think it was in Indianapolis, and there was a lady there who had written a book about quilt squares, but hers was different in that she had found out the history of why they were, why the, the, the owner had particularly chosen these quilt squares. And if uh, it was a big uh, kind of a coffee table book that she had written, but it was really interesting. Okay, that was just an addition. Not necessary. Uh, also, I have my trusty little white pen, and in a minute I'm going to sign this. Don't forget to sign your project, no matter if it's a bag or what. A lot of times, um, You'll be in a place like if I do a class, a lot of times we're in places where there might be four or five bags that we've done in the past. And everybody says, that's my bag. No, that's my bag. So um, it's best to sign it. And there's no question if you go somewhere where someone has a bag just like yours. So, And it does... Um, does set you apart because you've now you have an original so be proud of it something that you produced let me see I'll do that there we'll put this over here oh you need the whole thing yeah and I've got so I've got my white pencil here and over in the corner because if I did it in black, you wouldn't see it. Oh, see, we'll see in here. I know I need to go over that again. I will. So this white one will show up and I'm just going to put a little initial there. There's no, there's no doubt that I am the one that produced this. We're going to a festival on Saturday and I'm really looking forward to that one because um, there are going to be lots of Louisiana craftsmen and uh, I want to kind of get this to blend in a little better. If you see some place, let me know. It needs to blend in just a little bit better. Uh, but I'm looking forward to that. It's called Acadians Festival. They're going to have a lot of, there will be a lot of uh, people who are talking about the culture of the Acadians who came here from Nova Scotia and uh, had to set up a new culture, but there are also going to be a lot of music and a lot of crafts, craftsmen. Now, just like you, I know that when I go to a lot of these places, there aren't exactly the crafts that I'm looking for. But, you know, I might get a look at something and I might say, you know, I think I could do something with that and just kind of create uh, my own idea. So that is important a lot of times, uh, just to create your own idea from what you see. And that's a lot of what, way, a lot of, uh, what I see. Uh, I know when we get back to Florida, that's when there are some really big festivals, um, not festivals, 
but craft shows. One I love to go to is the one in Mount Dora. Oh goodness, I am so glad I'm not, uh, that is a hard, that would be a hard one to go to, if you, I mean, to uh, work at uh, if you were there because it's just attended by so many people. But it's, a, it's one of the best. It really is one of the best around. But you got to get there early, and you got to... Um, oh, thank you, Link. I appreciate you saying that. Uh, you got to get there early, and you got to uh, really search for a parking place most of the time. over here and here and I think we'll wrap this up uh, if I see anything between now and tomorrow whoops I see one thing uh, get this tree an old tree okay can you see anything else we need to do uh, I appreciate y'all being here today uh, we're going to I'm gonna go back here um, yeah that works out pretty good too uh, like I said oh let me do one thing here uh, You can't go wrong whenever you're producing one of your ideas. Um, you saw this is just a canvas bag. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. or you, uh, That's the quality of the ones that I like over in the wearable art. Uh, sometimes I think these come two to a package. So uh, think about this um, as a Christmas gift for someone or to carry it to someone at Thanksgiving filled with goodies. <clears throat> or if you did one, you could use it for a Halloween if you wanted to, uh, but I don't think you want to. Uh, let me do one other thing here. I wanted to accentuate something here just to make my little quilt barn picture stand out. Okay, and always, I think the tree is okay. If you have any questions or if you'd like to make any comments, feel free to. I'm on uh, here usually every day, 215 Central, uh, 315 Eastern, Eastern, and um, I'm not sure. I'm, this works out fine for me. I may change it to 3 o'clock, but then that's 4 o'clock Eastern. So I hate to uh, interfere with some of the things that you have planned. So if you ever have a comment about um, a time that, that would be better for you, let me know. So you all just have a good day. Remember, it's a great day to have a great day. And um, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Let me see tomorrow. You know tonight is uh, Shrimp Etouffee with our group. So more, more reason to eat. And we eat really good. Y'all just have a great day. I appreciate you being here today. Bye-bye now.